Welcome to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Our team is committed to bringing Type 1 diabetics the latest medical developments to manage this disease. We also cover current medical advancements seeking a cure for T1D. If you value this content, please feel free to show your support by clicking on our homepage and hitting the link to buy us a coffee. Your support helps our team to research topics for upcoming videos. We thank you for your support. Hey everybody, welcome back to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. My name is Jim. Well, we have some interesting news today from our friends over at Cernova regarding the cell pouch. They are in the middle of a clinical trial, but uh, things are going so well that they made a press release on the 14th to update all of us on their progress and some interim results. We have all the information right here and you're gonna like it, it's all good stuff. So hit the like and subscribe button if you would. That helps us to get our videos out to more people around the world. And also, if you feel generous today, you can go to our homepage, click the link, and buy us a coffee. Your support is always appreciated. Now let's find out what's happening over at Cernova and all about the cell pouch. Cernova Biotherapeutics makes breakthrough in type 1 diabetes treatment. As of May 2025, Cernova Biotherapeutics has reported significant progress in its clinical development programs, particularly concerning its cell pouch biohybrid organ technology to treat type 1 diabetes, T1D. Positive interim results from Phase 1 half T1D clinical trial. On May 14, 2025, Cernova announced encouraging interim data from its ongoing Phase 1 half clinical trial, evaluating the cell pouch in patients with T1D. Insulin Independence 8 out of 12 patients achieved insulin independence following the transplantation of donor islet cells into the cell pouch. Islet cell function 7 of 12 patients exhibited C-peptide levels of less than 0.3, indicating successful islet cell engraftment and insulin production. Glycemic Control 9 of 12 patients achieved HbA1c levels below the American Diabetes Association's recommended threshold of 7.0%. Quality of life improvements. Patients reported enhanced awareness of hypoglycemia onset, reduced fear of hypoglycemic events, and decreased distress related to diabetes management. These results suggest that the cell pouch system may offer a functional cure for T1D, with the study on track to meet its primary and secondary endpoints. Upcoming clinical developments. Based on the positive interim data, Cernova plans to initiate cohort C of the trial in the second half of 2025. Additionally, in collaboration with EvaTech, the company aims to commence clinical trials using induced pluripotent stem cell-derived islet-like clusters in 2026, potentially eliminating the need for donor islets. Other points shared covered by the Cernova press release include Data demonstrate that metabolic measures improve with cumulative quantities of transplanted donor islets. Data demonstrate islet engraftment in cell pouch and islet functionality, including C-peptide production. All patients reached or maintained the ADA-recommended HbA1c of 7.0%. This point is critical, as maintaining 7 mg per deciliter is the standard for good health in type 1 diabetics. As of April 2025, the Data and Safety Monitoring Board, DSMB, approved the enrollment of the final patient in Cohort B and endorsed the advancement to Cohort C, which is scheduled to commence in the second half of 2025. Upon completion of Cohort C, Cernova plans to initiate a new clinical trial in collaboration with Evotech, utilizing induced pluripotent stem cell, IPSC-derived islet-like clusters. This trial is anticipated to begin in 2026. While Cernova has not announced a specific timeline for transitioning to a Phase 3 trial, the progression through Cohort C and the upcoming IPSC-based trial represents significant steps toward that goal. The outcomes of these studies will likely inform the design and timing of any future Phase 3 trials. This is encouraging news, and Type 1 Diabetic Warriors will watch this progress and report to our viewers every advancement along the way. Alrighty, great Cernova update right there on the cell pouch. Things appear to be moving along very well. Uh, the fact that so many in the cohort B were able to maintain an A1C below seven uh, is a very promising uh, step forward. And uh, you know, the closer you get to about 5.7, you become 
non-diabetic. So we will watch this very closely. The next step is uh, broadening the amount of people in cohort C that is coming up. And uh, then they're uh, going to use the manufactured pluripotent stem cells from Evotech. So that is the next step once they uh, get their people lined up with cohort C. So great things happening and uh, it's very encouraging. We love to see the positive results. And um, that's that for Cernova. Hope you uh, found that encouraging today. We'll have another video for you real soon. Thanks for hanging out with us today on Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Be well.